play mode, I don't need no drama. Good morning. So today is day one of four. I'm a little tired today. I honestly don't feel like working. Let me take this off. There's no one behind me. I honestly don't feel like working today. Um, so Sunday when I came home, uh, well, I just realized last night that I forgot my sweater in the uber and i was looking to get it back and they're like i was reading and it says 15 dollars if i if the person has to take it back to me and i'm like that's crazy but i'm gonna try and order another one online one of my work sweaters <sighs> luckily they give us money to buy uniforms so yeah, I was due for a new one anyways because the other one I had the sleeve ripped and I kind of sewed it back together. But I miss my sweater. I might get it back. $15 though. And this morning when I called the Uber, it was like 30 something dollars, guys. Like, I'm trying to cut back on spending, especially at a time like now. That's a lot of money. I was trying to do Lyft because the lift was $17 but for some reason something is going on with my lift something is going on with my lift account because um, I'm not sure I need to call them because they're saying that I owe money and they keep taking money out of my account and it just doesn't make any sense so I'm gonna have to call and get that sorted and yeah so this month is a bunch of starting with deadheads, so in this time we're deadheading to Atlanta and then do a turn and then we go to Huntsville. We deadhead to Huntsville. So start with a deadhead, end with a deadhead. This trip I also end, finish the whole trip with a deadhead, which I finished early on Saturday, like 12 something, so. I'm glad for that. So I'm gonna see where um I'm gonna see where this gate is. At, so we're going to Atlanta. Oh, it's at B37 guys. So we have a walk. Um I don't know. I'm just not feeling it today, to be honest not feeling it i'm grateful to have a job and everything i'm very grateful but i just feel like i need a a little break i don't know but i'm praying that my day finishes well yeah i pray that my day finishes better because i'm just not feeling it at all so yes Anyways, let's get on to this gate and oh wow, yeah, let's get it. Oh guys, I forgot to tell you guys, um, Sunday when I came in from Minneapolis because I deadheaded in, they were like, because they changed the, if you're traveling from certain state, they have you fill out a form that you're going to quarantine for 14 days. And if you if you don't follow the rules, you have a $2,000 fine. So when we came in, there were so many cops at the gate ensuring that you fill out those paperwork and you're going to follow protocol. I was like, whoa, <laughs> they're serious, serious. I was like, really? Anyways, um, I noticed that at the Delta Gates now, um, they put stickers on the seat. Um, so, like, stickers are on every other seat so that, you know, you could keep a little distance and you're not sitting next to someone. So, they put a sticker as a reminder. Let me show you guys. There it is. 
Welcome to Terminal 4 and John Kennedy seat. International Airport. You should not accept offers of transportation from anyone without prior arrangements. I think that's good that they're taking it serious and taking people's, you know, feelings, not feelings, but thoughts into consideration with this uh, whole virus thing. So yeah. I'm walking without because there's nobody, no mess because there's nobody like around me and I need to breathe some fresh air before I go on the plane and put this mask on because you have to have your mask on the entire flight, the entire flight. So I'm trying to get as much fresh air as I can before I get on because I don't want a case of that headache come back again and my ears to hurt so yeah that was that headache was no joke my head was pounding pounding I haven't had a migraine since like sixth grade I was like I have to get rid of this Tomorrow I have a Huntsville, come back from Huntsville to, to here, and then I have a seven hour sit in Atlanta. Seven hours. And then we go to Baton Rouge. So yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Anyways, we're boarding, gonna put my mask on. Boarding has commands. Yeah, and then I am going to yeah. Hey guys, so I just made it to my hotel room in Huntsville and not my favorite hotel. I don't like this hotel. <laughs> I hate doing trips outside of Atlanta because for some reason, they get weird hotels in Atlanta. Anyways, I have a pool view. Do you guys want to see? Yeah, let me show you. See, this is the only beautiful thing. Got a nice little pool view. A jacuzzi. So, coming in to Huntsville just now was like so crazy because um, you're not supposed, if you're not traveling together, and I was deadheading so I couldn't make the shots but basically if you're not traveling together you can't sit next to each other so they had a lot of overbooking and people were sitting next to people that they're not supposed to be sitting next to and they were uncomfortable and everything so we had to delay the flight a little bit so that people could come off and everything and people were even volunteering to let the people stay on board like it was crazy just now but Man, the gay agents have a lot of work to do, but I'm here in Huntsville. I'm gonna charge my phone a little bit and then go to the gym for a little bit and then come back. So if I don't see you guys when I come back, I will see you in the morning. 
okay the next day oh my god guys it's the next day and i am so pissed off guys like i am so pissed off and i'm gonna tell you why in a few when we get to the hotel I'm about to go to the hotel in atlanta right now because we i have a seven hour sit in atlanta so when it's past four and a half hours they get you in hotel so i'm about to go to the hotel and yeah and then I'll sit down and explain to you guys but somebody, a gay agent just lied on me and I am so pissed off oh my god guys they switched things around at this airport like I didn't know where the heck I was going um it's so hot trying to catch my breath so um i'm here waiting for the shuttle so after four hours and 20 minutes i believe 420 then they give you a hotel to stay in so i have a seven hour layover i wanted to go out and about here but being that the the c word is high here i doubt i want to go anywhere it's such a beautiful day today you can hear the birds and stuff um, I guess because of construction and everything the shuttles used to be down there But as I said everything is switched up like just now I had to ask somebody like where to go because I Myself I have no clue. I haven't I've probably only been to Atlanta like twice On a layover and I've never been here for leisure So I don't really know the whereabouts. So I'm just here and everything just looks so different so the shuttle runs every 15 minutes the lady said so she said I guess I missed the the nine o'clock one already so there's I'm gonna have to wait for the 950 so yeah here waiting and I'm so pissed guys like I, I can't wait to um go in and really explain to you guys what's what like for real i'm so pissed okay guys so avi i made it to my room um so yesterday we had a little issue on the aircraft i was dead heading to huntsville alabama and um to my knowledge um you're not supposed to if you're not flying as a family or you know somebody you know or whatever if you didn't book the ticket and you're not flying together you're not supposed to be sitting next to each other so prior to the c word i um i will usually ask a uh, gate agent for um if they have any empty space or anything so um I'm trying to look for somewhere to put this so anyways i can't find so um fast forward i asked the gate agent i went up to the gate agent and i asked her um if i am sitting if i have the rope for myself and she said no the non-revs have it and i said to her i said oh i thought we were supposed to be sitting together she said no it's reserved for it's the non-revs could sit next to us to whatever so i said okay and then i walked away right walked away so went on the aircraft got my seat there was supposed to be a gentleman sitting next to me but he didn't sit next to me he sat next to someone else so um the other fa that i'm working with um someone sat next to her and she felt uncomfortable which is her rights you know with everything that's going on so she said you know she didn't feel comfortable and she wanted to sit somewhere else so there were seats in first class or whatever so i think she moved there but it's our aircraft so we were talking to the fa and the fa said she could sit there whatever but there were other passengers on board that um had an issue with because the gate agent put people next to each other that's not flying together and they were uncomfortable and there was a whole thing on the aircraft yesterday anyways fast forward to today um 
um, the FA that I'm working with came to me and she was like, oh, did you see the report that the gate agent wrote on the app that we had that we all communicate with? So I said, no. And she was like, oh, the FA said that you were giving her attitude and you had an issue with um, someone sitting next to you. And I was like, what? Like, I know for sure when I'm given an attitude. I know when I'm given an attitude, okay? I know when I'm given an attitude. And I didn't, I honestly, I honestly did not give her an attitude yesterday. I know exactly when I'm giving someone an attitude. And I did not give her an attitude yesterday. She said non-refs could sit next to us. I said, okay. And I kept it pushing. I didn't go back and forth with her. Because when you go back and forth with a gate agent, they could write you up and you cannot fly so like when it's your companion pass or you're giving a buddy pass or whatever um you have to ensure you tell them that once you give this out you cannot be going around giving attitude or dress inappropriately or, or any uh, anything of that sort so i know my rules and i didn't give her an attitude why would i give you an attitude so i'm guessing she was trying to cover herself because she would have gotten in trouble had because of the way how she seated everyone and because they had to pull back um, the jet bridge and everything so she would have gotten in trouble so to save her butt she threw me under the bus and the other FA meanwhile I wasn't having any issues yesterday I sat in my seat and I was good the other FA she felt a little uncomfortable and she said something it's her right that's her but that's not me don't mix me up with someone else and add story to it and make it seem like I was going around giving issues you know what i mean i know myself and i know when i give attitude and i know when i'm wrong but don't try to throw me on the bus and tell a lie on me just to cover yourself don't do that and that just pissed me off so i'm about to call my manager and i'm going to write a report because this is unacceptable anyways guys enough of that rant um i'm in atlanta and i ran out of water and i don't drink the water on the plane because it's Dasani and Dasani has salt in it and when you're in the air you know your body kind of when you're flying your body kind of expand I don't know what it is but it does and also the salt in it doesn't help so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get dressed and I think I'm gonna go for my walk for now and get some water and then come back chill for a bit shower and then I'm gonna I have a flight later because remember, I'm on a, a long sit for seven hours and then I do one flight to Baton Rouge and then I'm done for the day. So I'm about to do that right now, get dressed and call my manager and get dressed, go for the water, come back and chill for the rest of the day. So that's that for now. Um, if there's anything else that I need to add, I will add it. But guys, I just want to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for subscribing to my channel. And I'm noticing that a lot of you guys, I read my analytics, I was looking at it, and a lot of you guys are coming over here and not subscribing. Why? Why are you not subscribing? Do you not want to join this family? Okay? Like, come on, join this family, like, comment, and subscribe, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend, guys. Like, come on. I'm trying to grow my family so um also good news guys i got my 4k watch time <laughs> um i'm glad the direction in which my channel is going ever since i start being consistent and come on you gotta like up this um like up this video and comment down below guys like you guys are not commenting you guys don't want to talk to me comment down below i respond back i respond to everything comment okay every comment i respond to and yeah i'm just so thankful the direction the where my channel is going and i really want to make this channel bigger i have a lot of um other travel vlogs that i have in my head but i hopefully i get to execute it i don't as i told you guys prior when I made started this channel that it's not only going to be about flight attendant stuff I also do regular lifestyle vlogs and traveling as well anyways so this is a seven minute rant <laughs> so I'm gonna get ready do what I need to do and then I will get back to you guys okay see ya
So guys, I'm finished with my sit and now I'm gonna head back to the airport. I'm heading a, heading a little early. My flight is at 4.50 something. And it's now, I'm gonna take the 3 p.m. van. So, and it's, the airport is close by, so I'm just gonna get there early. I don't wanna rush in. I don't really, Atlanta airport is set up a little differently, so I wanna go there early. And plus there I have uh, construction, so I wanna go early. So, I may close out the vlog when I get to my next hotel tonight, and then, yeah i'll talk to you guys then so guys i got here mad early i was looking at the wrong time on my phone <laughs> my flight is at 6 18 and it's now 3 54. i got here like three i got here at 3 26. i was walking to my gate and i was like why isn't my why, why isn't my flight um the gate number saying a different flight i'm like what is going on then i looked at the time i'm like oh wow so anyways i came to get lunch um i bought chick-fil-a i know it's my weakness so i made sure i wiped down everything before i sat here and eat so I'm here. It's a nice view. You can see the planes and everything. So I'm gonna eat this and wait for my flight at six. I'm so mad. I could have hung out at the, the hotel a little bit more, but I was looking at the wrong time, you know. But I'm here already. It is what it is. I kind of wish I had a longer layover so I could have went for a longer walk like overnight here instead of just sitting here for seven hours uh, either way i did however walk out and i went for um something some water because the hotel as i said only had the sani so i went to go buy some water at the supermarket it was cool it was a nice walk i got my steps in i was sweating like crazy so yeah i see you guys when I get into Baton Rouge. Oh guys, wait, wait, wait. Before you go, if you made it this far of the video, I need for you to leave some dancing emoji down below. Comment down below, okay? Comment down below, chat with me, like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.